just for fun, let's hit this one real hard. 99 miles per hour. Hey everybody, welcome back to Batflip BP. I'm assuming today you clicked on this video because you're like me, you're just trying to get better at this game we love. So I'm going to break down my whole uh, batting practice routine when I'm just by myself, just working on stuff. So let's do this. Alright, so first off... For me, guaranteed, the most important piece of equipment you're going to want to get better, your trusty tee. This one here is the Tanner T. I've had it for, gosh, well over five years. It is half has to have like tens of thousands of hits on this thing. I have never had to replace a single part on here. The top cone is still perfect. I mean, it's a beast. It is, it's a workhorse for sure. Second off, I really like this uh, DeMarini Corn Dog. So this bat was uh, designed by, or is the brainchild of Mike Cornell over at DeMarini. Corny's his nickname, hence the, the corn dog name here. But this is an actual wood barrel with a composite handle. And uh, it's gonna be super durable. You can hit whatever ball you want with it. And it's just a great training tool. Next up, got some balls, also important. My favorites, are the evil BP-52 and these uh, ghost ball BP balls. I'll make sure to link everything down below so you guys can get set up as well. But these things are great. They stay hard forever. They're lightweight. They don't hurt your bats. And they actually fly really well. Last off, I always use a batting glove. It's all personal preference. Some guys use two. Some guys use one. Some guys don't at all. I used to blow through batting gloves constantly. Till I found these stingers. Uh, these ones have probably, again, thousands of hits on them. The only wear I have, these top cosmetic pieces of leather have kind of worn down a bit, but the palm is still completely intact. All the stitching, I'm amazed by these things. So uh, again, I'll link everything down below. Let's get to work. But the biggest thing I'm working on today, I have been pulling my head really bad and not keeping in on the ball keep it squared up so that's what i'm gonna be working on again got my tee got my back got the balls let's do some work 78 miles per hour i did set up the radar just for a little fun because i've never actually hit the corn dog with the radar but as you can tell i topped that ball i'm pulling 82 miles per hour. 82 miles per hour. Oh, that felt good. That was a nice line drive. Now this next statement might be a little unpopular, but guys, the next greatest bat that comes out is not instantly going to make you a better hitter. You got to put the reps in. And honestly, the combination of the cost of a corn dog and a tee, pretty much the same as that brand new bat. So, you do the math. 79 miles per hour. That one felt great. 93 miles per hour. Holy cow. Now this actually has all the association stamps on it. So if you wanted to game this thing, you totally could. It only comes in a, a 34 inch length. There's no weight specified. But when I threw this on the scale, it weighed in exactly at 27 ounces. So it's kind of perfect for everybody. 75 miles per hour. I got under that ball. 77 miles per hour. That's a little better. This tee actually comes in two different pieces. We've got a base and the shaft, and you take them apart, they screw together. So like, lugging it around is super nice because it's super convenient. They actually, I just checked out their website. This is the original version, but uh, They've got some pretty cool stuff now. They've got one sits on home plate. It's got like a 
telescoping arm, you can move the ball wherever you want. That one looks sick. Seventy-nine miles per hour. And cap that one a little bit. Eighty miles per hour. That was the best feeling bit of the round. Eighty-four miles per hour. When you're setting up your tee for working on like pulling the ball, you'll want to have the tee further out and a little further inside because if you're gonna pull, you want to swing earlier, get that angle. You know, shooting the middle area, I guess. I like to have it right out in front. And then if I'm going off -o, you actually move the tee further back. I like to bring the ball a little further down because the trajectory of the ball is gonna be further down. But, uh. So I do when I go off of. 72 miles per hour. 71 miles per hour. Again, I can tell right now that I'm swinging too hard and I'm getting pulled out of my form. So I need to slow it down, reset. 80 miles per hour. Just like that. 83 miles per hour. Oh. Again, this really is all about repetition. 76 miles per hour. Building that muscle memory. 86 miles per hour. I don't know if I mentioned, but when I'm making contact with the ball, I'm trying to hit this bottom half of the ball, but without making the tee like flop over, if that makes sense. Let me see if I can demonstrate real quick. 87 miles per hour. So that was the top of the ball, which is why it went pretty much straight down. 75 miles per hour. That one I caught too much of the tee. You can see it flop. And now this will be, hopefully, what I'm looking for. Yeah. 84 miles per hour. Exactly. All right, now just for fun, let's uh, switch to the gamer since we're on a DeMarini kick. Go to one of my favorite bats of all time. This is the GS Sports. Insane, the OG from 2015. This still has a regular place in my bag all the time. But uh, let's put our practice work. 94 miles per hour. Yes, sir. This is the rewarding part of batting practice. Seeing your work pay off. 98 miles per hour. 94 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. 99 miles per hour. 94 miles per hour. 97 miles per hour. Oh. All right, here we go. Last ball. Just for fun. Let's hit this one real hard. 99 miles per hour. Ah, good. There you have it, everybody. Like I said, it's all about putting the reps in. Get yourself a tee. Get yourself a bat just to batting practice with. Get a bunch of balls. A wagon. A wagon's big. I mean, if you want to get a radar, that's fine. They are pricey. But hey, let's just all get better together. Until next time, stay safe. See ya.